Rust dissolvers. Which brand works the best at removing rust? Do these products even work? Are these products even worth the money? How do rust dissolving products stand up against ordinary vinegar? Today's video is a rust dissolving showdown between three brands of rust removers and ordinary vinegar using these horseshoes that haven't been played with in over 30 years. Let's meet the competitors in today's competition. First up, we have CLR, which stands for Calcium Lime and Rust Remover. CLR works on shower heads, tubs, sink, porcelain, chrome, stainless steel, vinyl siding, coffee pots, tea kettle, humidifier, toilet bowl, concrete, bricks, stuck coffee maker, washing machines, and dishwasher. CLR is made in the USA. Next up is Blaster, metal rescue, rust remover, and bath. Safe on everything except for rust. No alkalized, acid, solvents, non-toxic, non-hazardous. Will remove approximately one half pound of rust. Made in the USA. Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver Jelly. Powerful formula. Stop rust. Excellent clean. Removes rust from metal surfaces. Ideal for heavy rust. Ordinary household distilled white vinegar. Ingredients. Distilled white vinegar. Diluted with water to a uniform pickling and table strength of 5% acidity. Certified gluten free. All recipes are certified kosher. Product of the USA. Zero calories. I'll follow the manufacturer's instructions printed on the labels with one exception. I'll let all four products soak for one hour. 24 hours, then 48 hours, checking progress along the way. And when we're finished, we'll crown a rust dissolving champion. I'll let all four of these soak for one hour and then we'll take a look at the progress. We just passed one hour on all four of our rust dissolvers. Let's look in on them and see what's happening. First, let's check on the CLR. There's a little something happening in there. I see a little rust hanging around the edges. You can see there's a bit of a cloud when I stir it up. It's removing some rust. Let's take a look next door here. This is the blaster. Blaster is at one hour. We'll take a look. There's some stuff going on in there. Discoloration of the liquid. And looks like it's, it's dissolving rust. Let's take a look next door at the rust jelly from Rust-Oleum. Let's take a look. This one has some stuff going on. I'm gonna zoom in there and we're gonna take a look at some of those bubbles. There's definitely some bubbles going on. You can see some rust being dissolved. There's a little rust on the bottom. Let's give it a little scrub. Yeah, definitely a little bit of rust. Let's check in on the vinegar. This is our household white vinegar. Here we can see there's a little bit of rust laying in there, some discoloration of the vinegar. We're definitely dissolving a little bit of rust in there. We'll check back in 24 hours. It's been 24 hours. All four of our competitors have had a chance to soak. I actually had these outside and they were in the sun. Let's take a temperature reading off of these things. We've got about 105 degrees. 100 and about 105 degrees over here. Oh, this one was about, about 100 degrees. This one here, about 100 degrees. So they were all sitting in the sun, so you can see they're nice and toasty. I think it's funny that the vinegar is the only one that has evaporation in the shape of a horseshoe. Here's the first look in on the CLR. The liquid is definitely changing colors. It looks like maybe these horseshoes were painted at some point. This one had some blue paint on it, looks like. And it looks like all that paint is coming off. It looks like the CLR is doing its job. After we check in on the other three and get a first look, I'm going to scrub them all up. We'll hose them off. We'll take a look at them before we put them back in for the next 24 hours. Here's our first look at the blaster. That water's so dark, 
you can hardly see anything in there. It looks like same kind of thing. There might've been some blue paint. I could kind of see some blue paint. We got to get this thing out of there and take a look at it. Here's our first look at the rust jelly. It's kind of doing its job the same as the others. You can see the rust falling into the jelly there around it. Can't wait to get this thing cleaned up so we can see what it looks like. Let's move on to the vinegar. Wow, this is straight 5% vinegar. There's, you can kind of see down in there, there's big chunks of rust down in there. There's a big one that just came off. Wow. There's a couple of big pieces floating around down in there. That's a first look at all four in the bath. Let's get them out and scrub them up and see what they all look like and put them back in. I've rinsed all four of them off with the hose. Let's jump in there and look at the results after a 24 hour soak. Here's the results with the CLR. It took away a lot of the rust. As it's drying, I see a little surface rust, but that'll come off with the wire wheel. On the back side, there's a little bit more rust, but it's still wet, kind of hard to see there. You can get up in there. There's just a little surface rust there. That's the CLR. Over here, we've got, that's the metal blaster. The metal blaster did a really good job. There's still some heavy rust spots right there. Let's flip this thing over and look on the back side. There's a little bit more rust back here. There's some of that paint still that's on there. That's what the uh, blaster looks like. Let's come over here. This was the jelly. This was our dissolving jelly. It did a pretty good job. There's, there's a little bit of surface rust here and there on the back side. Yeah, there's a little bit more on the back side there. And then here is the vinegar. The vinegar did a pretty good job. Uh, I don't really see, I see just a little bit here and there. Let's flip it over on the back. Wow. There's a, uh, there's a little rust there. All in all, I think the vinegar is holding its own. If I have to declare a winner after 24 hours, I'm guessing it's a tie between the CLR and the vinegar. The rust bath is doing a pretty good job. You can see the color of the water is kind of kooky. And the rust jelly, it's trying, but uh, there's still some rust left on there. Let's put these things back in their baths. We'll let them soak for another 24 hours and we'll check back tomorrow. We're coming up on the second 24 hour soak. Let's get in there and see what we got going on. Our timers are all counting down. We're gonna get these things out of their containers. We're going to start here with the CLR and then we'll work our way down. Just like yesterday, I had these things out there sitting in the sun. Let's pull the temperature here. 84.5. I'm curious what you think about a warmer temperature. You think it helped the process? Let me know in the comments down below. Our first horseshoe down there is with the CLR. Let's take a look at it and then we'll clean it up. That's what it looks like down in there. You can kind of see. Looks like it's done a pretty good job in there. Let's get him out of there. Whoa, there's your first look. It looks darker on camera than it does in, uh, in real life here. Let's get this thing scrubbed up and we'll look at it afterwards. Next up is the metal blaster. Let's get that thing out of that purple liquid and see what's going on in there. Whoa. Well, there it is. That's what it looks like. Let's get this thing hosed off so we can clean it up. Rust dissolver jellies next. Let's take a look. Wow, that is dark. Wow. All right, there it is. Let's get him out of there and hose him off so that we can take a look at it. Let me take a guess. This is the one that everybody's been wanting to see. Let's get it out of there and see what's going on. 
The water looks rusty. That's, that's my first take. Let's get this guy out. There he is. Woo! Stinks. This one is definitely the stinkiest out of all of them. And it looks about the same as the others. Let's get it hosed off and cleaned up. The reason I used the heat gun was to avoid a flash of uh, surface rust so that we can get an accurate view of what they look like right out of the bath. I'm not going to use a wire wheel on these because I want an accurate view of what each of these products can do. Let's use my phone to jump in there. It works better in low light. The CLR. The CLR horseshoe. There it is. It has a little bit of discoloration. There's the back side. I don't see any rust on it at all. This, this product was green and it kind of gave the horseshoe a bit of a green tint. Over here is the blaster. This is the metal rescue rust remover bath. And this one has kind of a shiny little silvery sheen to it. Let's flip it over. There's the back. There is some rust on this one. I see some rust there. There's a little bit of rust there. I can, I can kind of feel it with my fingernail. Oh, kind of the same thing down here. So that is the blaster. Next over here, I've got this uh, rust jelly. Again, this one has a weird color. This jelly was clear coming out of the bottle, but on the horseshoe, it's kind of green now, kind of green and yellow. I don't see any rust. All the rust is gone. Let's look at the backside. Same thing. It's got kind of a kooky color. Uh, boy, oh, if you look in there where, where it was rubbing on the ground, you can see the, the steel is shining through there. So maybe a wire brush should clean this thing right up. I don't know. That's what it looks like. All right. And the one we've all been waiting for, this is the gluten-free vinegar gluten-free vinegar here there is the horseshoe there's zero rust i don't see any rust doesn't really have a funky color either uh it's kind of shiny silver there is some nice close-up detail all the way around zero rust zero rust from the vinegar here is the price. The CLR was $5.28. It left the horseshoe kind of a green color. The blaster left the color the best, I think, nice and shiny. It missed some of the rust on the back. A gallon of this will set you back $29.97. Over here with the rust jelly, the rust jelly costs $7.87. It left it kind of a kooky color. Vinegar. I bought this vinegar at the dollar store for a buck 25. The vinegar dissolved all of the rust. It's all gone, all of it. <laughs> I'm going to declare a winner here, and it's no surprise that it's the vinegar. The vinegar is $1.25. Why would you spend $30 on a gallon to soak when you have 48 hours when the vinegar will do the same job? Be sure to check out my head-to-head -head spray adhesive competition video. I'll put a link to that video right here. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.